Good morning everyone, I'm on the outside of Stafford in a little village where I grew up. Um, today we're changing a fuse board, so this is the original one with the house, wooden back fuse board, rewirable fuses, so this is going to get changed for a, a, an 18th edition metal fuse board. So what I'm going to do now, isolate the power, we're going to test a few circuits to see uh, what's on what, what's what circuit, how many points are on, just so let down the line, it's a bit easier to, uh, to figure out what's what. So I'm going to isolate the power front off and uh, let's get started. cavity wall insulation so what they've done is drilled a hole outside put a nozzle in pumped it full of these little balls these little insulating balls and they are meant to harden and stick together but when they pop out in holes in the brickwork they just crumble out everywhere and literally thousands thousands of them so from what i found the customer had this so at some point someone's tried to label the board up so number one nothing two upstairs and uh, upstairs lights and under cupboard lights in the kitchen three downstairs i have no idea i'm guessing downstairs lights seems it's a five amp uh five is cooker and then six is downstairs ring main by the looks of things so what i like to do obviously i keep that so i use my ipad I go across with a piece of sharpie so I can mark out what's what. So all I do is go across and do a notch on one, two, three, four, five, and then six, which would be the ring main. So by the looks of it, someone's put some alterations here a good couple of years ago. So God knows why we've got a six mil going up and across. So that looks like it's the new cooker circuit that's run across and down. So we'll be keeping that, figuring out a way of it's actually going upstairs. Hopefully it's not to an electric shower. Um, by the looks of it, it's a new ring main someone supplied for the kitchen. Possibly. Uh, we've got a new one here, which is the new colours, which looks like it's a socket running that way to the hallway. So I'm going to take the board off, spread these apart, test them individually, see if what's a ring, what's not find out what the supply is here. Right, I'm gonna pop inside and see if there's an electric shower or an old cooker point and then this new one happed on, so I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so we just found out that's obviously the new cooker cable running down and across there to a isolation point. This is the original cooker point that goes to the other side of the kitchen that actually isn't used, so I'm just gonna cut that off, cut off the other end, it could be filled and plastered. So what I've just done, there's a Henley block on the outside with the main tails going into, so I've just disconnected them for there, so they're all dead now, so I'm going to cut them off, pull them back through, give myself a bit of room. So this is what I've used, I've just bought it the other day, <clears throat> it's the first time I've used it really, it's the, uh, the Wear S Speedy electric fully insulated screwdriver, function of torch and uh, yeah it was a bit pricey but I thought I'd give it a go and <laughs> so far I love it so keep that in mind so that's our old fuse board uh, old rewirable one wooden back fuse board so you see why there's such a fire risk <laughs> Right, so what my next plan of attack is, is try and find continuity of the ring circuit. So, set my tester a setting, continuity setting. Uh, right, so live and live on the kitchen ring. Neutral and earth. Right, that's all connected. And then the old house ring main. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two ring circuits, kitchen, rest of the house, cooker circuit, upstairs lighting, downstairs lighting. I've cut an old immersion one off because that wasn't used. The old cooker one's going. 
that looks like it is two outside lights just on front of the garage and this one here looks like it's just an addition for a hallway socket so what the customers asked me to do is because the garage doors up here and it's inaccessible when the garage door is shut especially if it's power's gone off and it's pitch black i'm going to uh, box this up drop it down some trunking and place the board uh, more regulation height one one three five is it to one four five so uh, stick emergency light on it as well so the power chips off being a pitch black garage and the only door in here is the main garage door so yeah right this is my adaptable box what i'm going to do is that's going to cover the main hole there especially stop that bloody cavity wall coming out stuffing glands all in the side feed all of these in and then a piece of trunking out the bottom to which is going to be the fuse board down here uh, the main tails I can connect off the Henry block. They are about here anyway, so they're going to be just drilled straight through the back into the board. Fingers crossed. Right adapter box is up and on, joined through. It's a bit messy at the moment, I'm going to rejig a bit of all this old trunking. Um, someone's done a nice thing and someone's upgraded the uh, the bonding to 10mm, I don't know when. Obviously it's plastic clips so I'm going to go around with a few metal ones afterwards so that job's done for me. Bring that straight into the board. So I'm going to get the, I've got a Hager uh, split load uh, Hager board 10 way. going to get that out, mount that on, measure out the trunking, um, run my new feeds up and then we're going to label and uh, wago these through uh, up in there to make it nice and neat. Trunking's cut, uh, holes are drilled top and bottom. Um, so I've got some all round band out. So that's gonna then tie around the cables after we put them in, put the lid on, keep them safe. Uh, that's it. Okay, now the trunk is on. <clears throat> I'm gonna get some cables, some uh, two five twin, one mil twin and some six mil and they're going to be fed from the board upwards into our adaptable box and then we're going to make them off to label them up, push them in the right direction and uh, get them on the right circuit. And what I'll do when I pull these through, so that's the first two five twin and we're going to be pulling one, two, three, four, five of them through. So I'll just label that up one this end and one that end and then so on as we keep pulling more through. Cables are pulled through now, so we've actually got three one mils because I forgot. I think this is the undercover light and feed, which needs redoing a little bit, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, three uh, three one mil twins, th uh, five two mil twins, and then one six mil. So it's your cooker, two ring mains, uh, one socket. That looks like it's in the hall. Uh, upstairs lights, downstairs lights, and looks like that's kitchen undercover lights. So. I'm going to put the lid on that and then we're going to start stripping these back, putting some Wagos on, labelling them up, trying to do it as neat as we can. With this sort of thing, what I normally do is, obviously we've got our selected circuits, so that's the old house, 
That's upstairs and downstairs lights. That's the kitchen ring. That's the cooker. That's the hall uh, socket and two outside lights. So strip them back. I've got my trusty cable strippers. Uh, I sort of try and keep a corner to each circuit. Then I'll stick a label on it and uh, pinch it back so it's nice and secure at the back. Um, tempted after it's done, maybe stick some all round band on it just to keep it pressed back nicely. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is printing the labels off for the adaptable box so all the cables come together because there's a hell of a lot of cables there so if anyone ever comes back at any point, myself or anyone else, they can sort of make sense of what's what. So what I've got is my label printer. Uh, it's my brother P-Touch E550W. Um, I downloaded the app on the phone. So the app on the phone connects through this through Wi-Fi. So if I go for, I don't know if you can see it, cable flag. So from that, when it loads, um, I'm going to go across, so my first one, oh no, I want to go the other way, sorry. So first one, let's go for that one, tap the area, so in there I'll type in uh, cooker, done, print, and then that's connected up there, so that's going to be printing off that itself. So double edged cooker label, so I'm going to do that for all of them. So cook first and then I'll do uh, kitchen sockets, but that's, I need to print two of them off because obviously it's a ring. Okay so I printed my labels off. So now you can see them, cooker, two kitchen sockets, two socket rings, hall socket, down lights, up lights, kitchen, kitchen under cupboard lights, and outside lights. So they're going to wrap around those cables, and then we're going to make them nice and neat, and uh, then we're going to start down on the fuse board. Labels are all on. I'm just going to twist it and bend it and push it back to make it nice and neat so we can get the lid on. Right, before I start dressing the cables in and the breakers in, I want to get the tails in so they're in because they're the most difficult things to, to, to bend and to, to make off. So uh, I've drilled my hole, I'm going to pop them through. Uh, stuffing gland at the bottom, this is a whisker stuffing gland, it can take two 25mm tails and a 16mm earth. So that'll go in the bottom, bring them up, dress them in, get them in. Put the 10 mil for the uh, the bonding in the top, and then once that's in and done, I'll uh, I'll dress the cables in. Okay, main tails are in, stuffing lands on, nice and tight. I've got the bonding coming down in, I've got main earth coming in. So now I'm going to sort out my cables, so I did bring it through in the right order to be honest. So I've got my cooker, kitchen socket, downstairs lighting, and then these two, no, yeah, these two, sockets, hall socket, kitchen undercover lights, outside lights, and upstairs lights. And then off that as well, I'm also going to do the uh, emergency light thing. So I'm quite sure I'm going to mount that yet, either up here or down here. Um, but that's going to be off the lighting circuit that this garage lights on. So if that side of the RCD trips, then the light in here will be illuminated. Right, let's get started. Okay, I'll, I'm going to run through the breaker sizes. Uh, so you've got a, a B32 for the 6mm cable on the cooker. Uh, ring main for the kitchen, you've got a B32 as well. Uh, then I've just put a, a, a 20 amp in, just blank in case I just want any sockets in here in the future. Uh, six, uh, B6 six amp for the lighting. Uh, ring main over here, 32 amp, then I've got a 20 amp for the hall socket because it's a radial circuit, 
uh, and then three six amps for uh, all lighting, kitchen, uh, outside and upstairs. Okay, so it's finally time I can actually use this properly, the Speedy. So it comes in a uh, little box, a little L box. Uh, you've got charger for two batteries, a uh, USB charger and a mains charger. It comes with a spare battery and a box of screwdriver ends. Uh, got quite a few different ones in here, obviously terminal to posi, and this one I've got in here is the, uh, the fuse board one. So let's give it a test run. Fuse board's wired in now. I'm going to put the emergency light on. I think I'm going to put it underneath. So I'm going to do a 20 mil hole underneath, bush and coupler, metal one, put that through, and then I'm going to put it on. Worked off the garage light is off the downstairs light and cigarette, which is this one. So I'm going to put the emergency light on the RCD side of the downstairs light and circuit. So if that ever trips, then we've got light in here. Okay. Okay, connect to the main tails to the Henry locks next door, so that should be all live and ready to go. Uh, so let me flick that up, that up, and that up. So that MCB is literally just controlling the emergency light for him. And I've put this on this side because this uh, breaker here is the downstairs lights and it's off this RCD one. So the reason this is on here is if this ever trips and knocks out this light in the garage, then the emergency light film will come on so the board is illuminated. The next job is now, I've put the lids on the trunk in, I'm going to put the adapter box together, sticker that up, clip some of these cables that are loose and, and hanging around, um, and yeah. Power's on now, but when you think you're having a good day, there's a fault on the spring main somewhere, so I've just disconnected the, uh, the neutrals from the bar, lives off, so I'm going to go take a few fronts off, do a few testings to see if I can find the brake or anything, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I found the fault, it's only taken me an hour, all it was. Originally when this place was wired up, the herbs never had sleeving on. Don't know why, but they didn't. And when people have pushed the sockets back, the earth is then bent over onto the neutral because the people weren't cutting the neutral short enough so it would be poking out the top. So there's two of them, so I'll show you the pictures in a second that I've taken. So uh, now I'm gonna give the board a test and start labeling everything up and uh, we'll go from there. Testing's all done, everything tested fine, filled it out on my iPad. I've um, got a couple of more stickers to do, I've got my sticker to go on, uh, date of inspection on here. I've got to come back in a couple of days, a few light things need changing. Um, got to put some more round band on here, but all in all, good job, happy days. Um, I'll get some testing at some point on a job where it's an empty house, so I can run through how I test everything. But yeah, so if you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.